The Office of the President and the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine are working together to ensure that Ukraine receives the first squadron of Western combat aircraft as soon as possible. This was stated by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, Dmitro Kuleba. Ukraine has already assembled a kind of tank zoo. There is a decision to provide Leopard, Challenger, Abrams and we are working on getting French Leclerc tanks. The main thing here is to open a position. I have no doubt that we will open the option of supplying combat aircraft. Dmitry Kuleba, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine on the air of the all-Ukrainian telephone. According to Kuleba, the barrier that prevents partners from providing combat aircraft to Ukraine is only psychological. He recalled that the same obstacles at one time prevented the reception of HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems, Patriot air defense systems and Western tanks. It doesn't matter if it's the American F-16, the Swedish Gripen, the French Mirage or Rafale or the Eurofighter. It is important to open a position, remove the taboo and get the first squadron of aircraft. Then we will already decide taking into account the availability on the market and service, on which model to place the main bet. Dmitry Kuleba, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, on the air of the old Ukrainian telephone. Now the most active talks are on the transfer of F-16 fighters. These are fourth-generation fighters. There are many of them. They are in service with almost 30 countries. In addition to the United States, F-16 fighters can also be transferred from several European countries that have already announced such a possibility. However, of course, first it is necessary to get permission from Washington. We need planes on which we could, at least on an equal footing, conduct air battles with the Russians. In addition, strike at their advancing or defending troops with the high-precision weapons under any conditions. Aviation is needed not only to protect against Russian aircraft, fighters and attack aircraft. We'll be able to shoot down missiles and drones that deplete Ukrainian air defense reserves. Our combat aircraft are outdated. They are of the fourth generation. All Russian ones have been modernized twice. American fighters have longer range missiles than Russian ones, and their radars see better and hold the target more reliable. If the MiG-29 carries two medium-range missiles, then the F-16 can carry six of these missiles, plus a few more short-range missiles. It is also essential for Ukraine to obtain missiles with a range of 150 kilometers or more, because then the armed forces of Ukraine will be able to reach military facilities located at a considerable distance behind enemy lines. We need those that would hit the enemy at a distance now of more than 100 kilometers. Why? Because the rocket projectiles used by the HIMARS systems hit up to 82 kilometers. The enemy knows this. He has his command posts, warehouses at a distance of 100 kilometers plus. In this regard, we need artillery capabilities, any that would ensure the destruction of these ground targets. At a joint meeting of the government of Ukraine and the European Commission, Ukrainian Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov said that if the Ukrainian army had the ability to strike at a distance of 300 kilometers, then the Russian army would not be able to provide its defense. He also stressed that Ukraine is ready to provide any guarantees that such weapons will not be used to attack Russian territory. Questions about long-range missiles and fighters are also planned to be raised at the Munich Security Conference, which will be held on February 17th, 19th. Reported by Roman Smoller, Yulia Bill, UATV News.